Local news that matters on Local 22 News. At this place in history, we're in Springfield with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. Steve, we're in a really cool spot, but I know right now we're talking about a who instead of a what. We are. We're going to be talking about Helen Hartness Flanders, who was born here in Springfield, the daughter of, um, of James Hartness, uh, who was governor uh, of the state, a little later on um, after she was an adult. But what she's really known for is as this kind of great folklorist, this um, person who studied um, the ballads and the songs of New England. She uh, focused mostly on the English tradition, but also moved somewhat into the French uh, Canadian tradition as well. How did she get into this field? She was educated here in Springfield and uh, she, she performed in the choirs and I think had a real affinity um, for song and how, how song could tell a story of our past. And often, um, if you think about uh, folks who maybe couldn't write their histories down, they could pass it down uh, orally that's something that she really looked into. And we can see her collection, right? All of her work, we, we have access to it from the Middlebury College, correct? Yeah, she left her collection to Middlebury College in the 1940s, and um, most of it is digitized and online. On the Helen Hartness Flanders Duplication Project, Real number 48, side B. And it's a vast collection. I mean, she started working on this in, in 1930 when she was commissioned by the Vermont Country, a Commission on Country Life, which, which is is fraught because that commission is also what gave rise to the eugenics mm -hmm. survey. Um, and I just, I just wanted to note that. Right. Um, but her work was on ballads and uh, folklore of the area. I went up to the office to look for a job. And, and she continued with that work um, almost up until her death in 1972. Um, she started off her career recording uh, out in the field on wax cylinders, um, and then later moved on to aluminum discs and acetate discs and then later uh, you know reel to reel. So she was or is internationally recognized. Did she work with any big names of the time? She worked with a number but I think the biggest name that, that most people know about is Alan Lomax and um, Alan uh, Lomax created the uh, American Folklife Collection um, at the Library of Congress and so all of her recordings um, that she did when she was doing field research with Lomax are housed there as well. At this place in history. The highway man sat drinking his wines as he to himself that money shall remind them of all that the light oh, all that the lay. For the boy got bleak and the way he did go, the highway man. Local news that matters on Local 22 News.